Hello, Tracy from Salem here. I uh, just came to do an update on this new piece I'm working on um, to just show some of the things that I've been doing. Um, if you watched the last video, you uh, know that um, I have a number of influences that are going on in this cloth, um, some stitching teachers, um, some folks I watch on YouTube, um, and also just being uh, um, energized by Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, uh, which is a challenge that's going on on YouTube. Um, so, um, one of the things I did was I, um, wanted to try dyeing some materials. So I've got some, uh, first thing I did was kind of collage on some materials here that I dyed. Um, and, uh, so just trying that out and then, um, uh, trying a, a technique that I've seen, um, uh, a couple people, different different people do, but um, primarily Ariane Zerscher of um, of taking some different kinds of fibers and using a, a um, hmm, whatever do you call this thing? A felting thing uh, that has these felting needles. Um, I'm just going to tell you right now. This I got this on Amazon. Uh, super cheap and it is in fact super cheap um, this is the second one I've got and already like uh, upon first use uh, already uh, one of the needles broke um, you can see right there and the the first one I had I think um, three or four of the needles have broken Th three it looks like uh, so you know <laughs> not not a good purchase <laughs> um, but since I've only just, this is the first time I've ever done any kind of felting, I, I did not want to pay a lot of money. Um, so anyway, um, these fibers, um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, these fibers here, um, oh, they're so soft. And my hands are so dry from the winter that they keep catching. This My skin just keeps catching on these fibers because uh, they are delicate and my skin is so rough. Um, here, like literally, I keep catching on them. And then all along the bottom, two different kinds of fibers here that I punched in. Um, and uh, some cheesecloth that I have dyed here. Uh, and then just doing various stitches uh, that I've learned in any number of places from Roxy Journal Creation, from Julie Booth, who's a, um, a great teacher, um, the Sue Spargo. I have any number of books of the Sue Spargo. I just signed up for a Sue Spargo um, workshop on Madeline Island. I'm so excited but it's an advanced course and you have to know how to do every stitch in this book in order to go. Luckily, it's in August, so I've got time. Anyway, I couched down um, some of this kind of like uh, silk yarn um, that I had, um, that I've gotten from, a, this I got from Michael's and this is from Amazon. And I've started doing some stitching so let me just get this, uh, just some kind of seaweed stitches. This was me practicing a coral stitch right here. Um, some bullion knots here. Um, I forget what this stitch is called in the blue. And then I did some oyster stitches uh, in inside the little V's of the of the. Um, this is a this is a variation on a. Um, buttonhole stitch uh, and then inside of that little coral stitches just some back stitching here these are all coral stitches with a lovely um, alpaca yarn that my mother had um, I've got some seed stitches up here and I was kind of thinking of filling in this area with seed stitches but I'm I'm not I'm not enjoying this that's not making me happy right now um, 
maybe if I make them much, much smaller, I will be happier with them. But I'm not too happy. I think those are going to be coming out. Uh, and then um, up here is going to go one of my patented moon, not pat not literally patented, but one of the moons that I very frequently do. Um, so that will, is that showing? Yes. So that will go there. Um, this piece has acquired a name, which is Rivers and Tides. Rivers and Tides is the title of a documentary about the artwork of Andrew Goldsworthy, who is a nature artist. Um, and an artist that I really love. And it was actually my mom who, who was saying to me that um, she, she saw it before any of these stitches. It was just this, the, these pieces applique down and she was saying that it looked like a map to her um, of the title, of the various tidal areas um, where we live on the northeast coast of Massachusetts, which has a lot of, um, marshland which is you know one of my favorite uh bio regions and landscapes um and so it was after she said that that i really especially this this yellow piece here really looked like tidal plains to me and in the marshes where uh as the as the tide is coming in and out you can get these amazing kind of um, shapes in the sand um, with the water really kind of carving um, inlets and, and stuff like that and so then I thought of that uh, tide that title of that movie Rivers and Tides um, so that is the name of the piece so I'm just gonna go continue on with various stitches and um, I really don't know where I'm going I just come home from my day job and I I do a little thing, a little thing and each day it grows a little bit. All right, thanks for hanging out and hope that you are having lots of fun stitching something that makes your heart sing as well.